meteorologist Michael Page with your Sky Tracker forecast. Changes are afoot in the weather department. Showers arriving tomorrow, mostly during the afternoon. That changes to snow as we go through Thursday night into parts of Friday morning, setting us up for a very chilly weekend. So winter coming back after a fairly nice day today. Still at this hour, even with the sundown, it's 54 in Burlington, 51 Middlebury. Notice we've slipped into the 40s, though, portions of the Northeast Kingdom over to Plymouth as well. But we have partly to mostly cloudy skies overhead now. That will take us right through the nighttime hour, so temperatures won't fall all that much. Either side of about 37 degrees, some mid-30s through the Adirondacks and the Northeast Kingdom, but winds will be light tonight. And this is actually our best chance at catching a glimpse at the full beaver moon before clouds increase for tomorrow. Getting its name because this is historically the time of year when beaver traps were set, so you could stock up on furs for the upcoming cold season. That's something to check out tonight. As for tomorrow, though, again, clouds will be increasing, showers moving up from south to north, especially during the afternoon, with highs mostly on either side of 50 degrees, but we'll find some 40s from Montreal through the St. Lawrence River Valley, the Northeast Kingdom, and the Upper Valley, too, where those rain showers arrive just a little bit sooner. And this is the system that's going to be bringing those rain showers to us. It's coming through the upper Midwest right now, kind of diving towards the coastline. We saw this last week, too. It will help energize a new system just off the coastline, and that new system is actually what's going to bring us the snow. So let's take a look at this now on Future Tracker. Here we are now, quiet for us, but watch this disturbance as it makes its move towards the coastline, translating the energy towards us to energize this new area of low pressure at the coast. So tomorrow morning, most places are dry. We find some sunshine, especially the farther north you go, more clouds south. But look what happens. The moisture starts to move up from south to north over the course of the day. So by afternoon, more showers around, and that's certainly the wetter part of the day. Last to see the rain showers once again the farther north you go. Overnight, here's that new stronger storm moving up the coastline. And notice, northwest wind behind the storm brings in colder air, and you see the snow there. And this will take us right into Friday morning. So you see the snow showers, especially still in the high terrain, the Northeast Kingdom and New Hampshire. So Friday morning probably will feature some snow on your morning drive, especially with some elevation. Even right into the afternoon as that storm zips away into the Maritimes, we maintain that northwest wind. So a little upslope effect on the mountains there. And we still have some lingering snow showers into Friday evening for the higher terrain. Snowfall wise, this is what we're looking at. The lighter shades of blue, zero to two inches. So this is your lower valley locations. The upper valley, certainly the Champlain Valley, as you see here, Burlington and Plattsburgh, maybe a little dusting, that's about it. But as soon as you get up, places like the Northeast Kingdom, two to four inches of snow. And the spine of the greens, even parts of the Adirondacks, could be flirting with more like four to eight inches, certainly as we get through New Hampshire and Maine. We'll be fine tuning this over the next couple of days. Seven day forecast goes like this starting with tomorrow. Showers developing south first and easterly wind temperatures around 50 degrees and then that snow first thing on Friday. Chilly weekend as well. MyChamplainValley.com has more on your forecast. You can always catch your regional forecast videos and we'll have much more on that snow thread as we get a little closer. Okay, so possible dusting here. Yeah, even in the valley locations, but NEK also the high terrain. That's where we're kind of on that two to four and once you get really up, Jay Peak, always wow, a popular yeah. spot. That's always probably in the four to eight category. Well, so you get they'll, the idea they'll be happy about it. Yes, yeah. of course. <laughs> okay, thank you.